trying to get as much in here as I could. I'm about to do a large canvas pour. I liked that other one so much that I'm gonna do this one. So I'm just gonna spread my white around. And it will smooth itself out, so if you don't get quite what you wanted, the leveling at the beginning, it will level itself out. If you have enough paint on there. If you don't, it won't. So, I got a little bit messy. My hands already have a little bit of blue in them, so I want to be careful from my last pour that I did, but. I like to get a little messy every now and again. And then I'll get my sides after I pour this on there. Whoops. Okay. Try to get a little bit of my sides here. And then I'll have my paint tilt over the edge. I think I have enough paint on there. As it goes over the edge, then I'll rub the edge so that I can get the paint everywhere on the canvas. I've been doing pour paintings for a little while now, maybe like seven or eight months. I've been seriously doing them and selling them for the past three months, and it has really taken off. I live here whoops, in Florida and the blues and the beach scenes, they really have really taken off. And I have a really supportive friend fan base, I guess you could call it. And they have really encouraged me They've given me contacts, helped me get my work into galleries, and I'm just loving it. It's my stress reliever. I work in mental health, and this has really been, you know, my stress reliever when I'm hearing and handling other people's problems at work. To come home and to be able to have an outlet for myself has really been important to me. And so that's why I've been doing it and that's why I love it. Oh, I got some blue in there from the bottom of the cup. It's all right, I'll have blue on this corner. Okay, let me wipe my hands. You guys should see what's below here. Maybe I'll show you after because what's below is actually really cool too. The design that's on there, maybe I'll make some skins out of that. I've been doing some skins with magnets. Oh, let me hope I don't knock my camera down. The camera's sitting on top of the toilet paper. Or the tissue, the paper towels. Okay, so again, I've been loving and using Creative Inspirations. Get it at Jerry's Artorama. Um, I just pre-mix with my pouring medium. Um, I do, uh, normally I eyeball it, but about two parts Floetrol to um, one part Liquitex pouring medium or Creative Inspirations pouring medium, which is a gloss varnish polymer. Um, I do, if I'm feeling like it, maybe a little bit of glue. It depends. This does not have any glue in it. And tonight I said I'm not going to do any silicone, so there's no silicone in any of the products. Ooh, I have paint dripping on my foot. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is just gonna be a dirty pour, no silicone. I'm gonna add some of the colors and kind of let it flow across the canvas. So, I have this cup. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of white in the bottom and then I'm just gonna layer my colors. I'm gonna have no black, the last one I did I had a little bit of black in there and it came out great, but the black got lost anyway and it made it a little bit darker than I wanted. So I'm gonna use this Payne's Gray as my dark. And I have this electric blue that I 
feel like just does beautifully with the white. So that is what I'm going to use there. A little more of this metallic aqua. Some more Payne's Gray. I'm probably going to do two cups on this one. We'll see how far this goes. And a little bit of white. So if you can see that, that's just what it looks like. I'm going to start over here in this corner because that was the corner I had the blue on. I'm just going to kind of hold it. Make a little bit of a circle there just to open up the paint so that it can flow a little bit better. Slowly let the paint release. I'm not pressing down. Okay. Just help that back in because right where the cup was. Okay, I'm gonna get another cup together. Oh, I do this every time. I have my hole. What? Find one of my used cups. Okay, I've got to have to grab another used cup because the paint was pouring out of the bottom. And I'm just pouring these all nilly willy, just to slosh them around in the cup and get some cells since I don't have any actual silicone in the cup. I think I'm going to send this other one up and over that way. didn't quite do what it was supposed to, but that's okay. It's painting, it doesn't matter. Cross over that one. Of the canvas back together and I think I may swipe these up here. I'm gonna leave it for now. And that's bare canvas so as I move the paint around I think I'm gonna do one more cup and I already have white in this cup so I think I'll stick with the white. So this one's gonna have a lot of white in it. just looks so beautiful. The last one I think I'm going to go there. Put a little bit of the bottom of it. Get my knife. I know this is probably not the best way to do this, but What just spilled off on the side over here is amazing. I just wanted that up there. Now I'm just gonna torch. 
Oh wow, these cells down here, I can't wait to show you these. These are amazing. So pretty. My dryer's done. This is really just popping, because I have no silicone in here, this is really just popping the bubbles from before. Let me see if I have any other, if I have any right through here. We'll see how this area turns out. I might have to do something, little something to that area right there. Oh, I have some pretty stuff right in here, though. Let's see how that turns out. I've got to wipe my hands. I had seen a couple posts on the acrylic pouring site about... Um, their bra, and my bra is definitely one of those bras that has paint all over it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get to tilting here. Let me move my torch. This is big, it's a big piece. I actually want to go up into that corner. Again, you don't want to tilt too fast or you'll get these weird looking just want to go a little over the edge there. If you tilt too fast, you're going to get these weird looking um, streaks through it. I don't know if streaks is the right word, but... Gonna tilt anymore that way because I don't want to mess up what's over there. I'm gonna come straight this way just a little bit. Go back up that way. Stretch those cells back out and go that way just a little. Actually, just doing. Oh, I don't want to lose those cells either. I have so many cells, I don't want to lose any of them. I have so much blue on my hand that I should not have touched it. And I have no more white. I have a little bit of white down here that I think has nothing in it. So I'm just going to pour that over it, see if I can get rid of it. There we go. So what's happened along these edges, you know, I have no silicone, so the white has kind of, the white normally sinks to the bottom because it's heavier, but this has, dent, the um, top of it has kind of clouded over, so, oops, see, the boob, it happens. So let me get my straw. And I will just touch up over here. I'm going to 
dries, you won't be able to tell. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. So in these places where where the white is just um, where it needs a little more interest and the white has overlaid it. I'm just coming in with my with my straw. I love it, I think it's really cool. Take this down and show you. You guys look at those cells right there. You don't need silicone. Okay, thanks guys.